we have the Syrian army coming out and stating that their airstrikes are more effective than the coalitions, stating that they are effectively wiping out ISIS positions. And the United States is not. This in itself is a huge red flag that, I mean, the sheeple, I mean, you should ask yourself, uh, you're having a hard time trying to figure this out. I'm telling you, this is a world stage. This is a play on the minds of the people. Damascus, Assad, there's no Rothschild Bank in there. Saudi Arabia, other people want to see him gone. And they're backing, supporting this whole movement. Now you have to ask yourself, how can Syria be dropping better strikes, airstrikes, on ISIS than the baddest military on the planet? Go ahead, I'll wait. I'm serious. How is it? How can it be? You think, think about it. How can Syria be pulling off better strikes when we have the Iraqi army involved, the Kurds involved? We have all this in place. It, to me, it just goes to show that they don't want to kill them. You know damn good and well they would have done wipe these guys off the face of the planet if they were a real threat. Would have done, did it. Gone. Bye-bye. See ya. They would have carpet-bombed every position. They had a If they would have deemed them that big of a threat, they wouldn't be here. But you know, if you've been following me long enough, you know who's trained, funded this whole thing. With that said, step back, look at the bigger picture here. We see that the United States is sitting on the sidelines witnessing ISIS in northern Syria, in Damascus, in southern Syria. And they want Damascus. That's the prize. They want Assad gone. They want that whole regime gone. But they're well fortified. ISIS knows this. They've had trouble or they would have already advanced. They've had trouble in doing so. So right now there has to be a plan in place here. Something to trigger an attack on Damascus at any time to launch this offensive move. And at this point, I think the United States steers ISIS right toward Damascus from here. It's the only option. They can't just sit around in northern Syria. They're going to get picked off. And they're not just going to get picked off by the United States, who seemingly can't kill them. They hit empty buildings and go after oil fields and have killed very few ISIS fighters, although Syria has no problem finding them and picking them off. And they're doing a better job. So Syria knows what's going on here. They know who ISIS is. They know who's funding ISIS. They know exactly what this is. And they know that they're going to make their move to come toward Damascus. So it could be at any time. It's going to happen. They don't have time to just kill and sit around. It's not going to happen like that. It's going to keep moving. ISIS is going to keep moving. And like I said before, if they really wanted them gone, they would be gone. They'd, you guys ever watched any video online? Of these guys killing the guys in the fields with weapons. Just from Apaches alone. They don't even see it coming. They don't even see it coming. They so much as move after a bombing. They're going to drop 20 more. Watch some of them thermal videos. And you'll see how intense they hit targets when they really want to kill them. None of that has took place. And you have to ask yourself, why? Because it's a huge staged event. Endgame, Damascus. The actions speak louder than words. Eyes open.